If you want to know about the latest news and changes to economic stimulus packages, you can watch stimulus updates. Hi, my name is Ale, and I'm here to tell you about some great news. But before we get to today's changes, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turned on the bell so you never miss a thing that has to do with stimulus. During these tough times, we're here to keep you updated and give you power. Okay, let's begin right away. Today, we're gonna talk about the changes that are coming in 2024 in great detail. For sure, you won't wanna miss the changes that come out all the time. Take a seat and let's find out the exciting news together. Your help is very much appreciated and makes our station grow. Plus, you'll be the first to know when our newest and most useful lessons are available online. Let's start this journey of finding out. The cost of living increase, COLA for 2024, is the first thing we need to talk about. Keep your eyes open because it's a huge 3.2% everywhere. Whether you're enjoying your retirement on Social Security, getting help with a disability through SSDI or getting extra money from Social Security. Good news for everyone who gets SSI or spousal payments. Imagine this. If you're retired and getting Social Security, that means your average payout will go up by $591, making it a whopping $1,912. 97 cents in 2024? That sounds exciting, right? Let's not forget that this COLA is more than just a nice to have. If inflation goes above and beyond, people who get the 3.2% will likely lose some of the money they've, they've worked hard to earn. The most recent CPI report shows that inflation is right at the COLA rate, which is a good mix for now. But the state of the economy is still very uncertain. So keep an eye out for any hidden signs of inflation. Now, for some good news for hardworking people who started getting their social security payments early and are still working hard, it's now too late to earn more. If you're not yet 67 or 66 years old, which is the ideal age to retire, you can now get an extra $2,320 a year without Social Security cutting your payments. And for people who are almost old enough to retire, during that year, the maximum amount of money that can be earned goes up to $59,500. You can make more money without giving up the perks you've worked hard for. Now let's talk about the cloud and the otherwise sunny sky. Medicare monthly premiums are going up. While it's great that Social Security benefits are going up, it's not so great that Medicare bills are going up. Part B of Medicare? The part that requires a monthly payment is going up by 5.9%, which means the new monthly cost is going to be $174.79. This might seem like a pretty easy walk by itself, but when put next to the three-year 2% COA, it's a big chunk of seniors' budgets that makes it harder for them to buy things overall. It's a warning that the economy as a whole can be unpredictable, even when things are going well. Let's get lost in the maze of taxes and income. In 2024, the most that Social Security earnings will be taxed will go up to $168,600, which is 5.2% more than the previous year. This change makes sure that the Social Security system always has money coming in. But for people who make more than the new cap, it means paying a little more in taxes. For example, when we work hard and look forward to payday, there is often a big difference between how much money we make and how much cash we actually get. Who did it? What? This tax doesn't apply to all income, right? It stops at a certain point, and that point is going up. It was $160,200 in 2023. It will go up to $168,600 in 2024, though. In 2024, if you make less than this amount, you will be taxed on all of your income, 
at $168,600. The rise is 5.2%, which is what's needed to keep Social Security going. Last but not least, the changes that are coming in 2024 are very different from what happened in 2023. There are some bad things that happen. The COA rise is not as big. Extra costs, like Medicare, are rising faster. And the retirement support system as a whole seems to be throwing some curveballs at our very important seniors. The business world is complicated, and we'll see how these different factors affect each other as the year goes on. What worries me is how these small changes, even though they don't seem like much, affect the buying power of retirees as a whole. Costs are going up, and there is a chance that by 2035, Social Security might only be able to pay out 75% of the benefits that were planned. This means that Social Security is slowly losing its ability to provide strong support. As we say goodbye to 2023 and get ready for 2024, it's important to think about the problems that lie ahead. If you depend on Social Security as your main source of income, things may get a little rougher financially. But knowing things gives you power and staying aware is the first thing you can do to deal with these problems. In the end, these changes to SNAP food stamps for 2024 are more than just rules and numbers. As a result, they have changed the way that people and families in need are helped. As we deal with these changes, it's important to stay aware, fight for fair policies, and help each other. These are all important ways to protect the health of our communities. Finally, let's look at the effects on the area. Different states may adopt these changes in different ways, depending on things like their local economies, populations, and political concerns. People who get SNAP benefits need to know the specifics of their state's rules in order to make smart choices about their benefits. That's all there is to today's episode of Michael Means. Even though the financial outlook for 2024 may be scary, remember that knowing things gives us the power to make smart choices. Have a strong and successful 2024. Remember to take care of yourself and others. Thanks for listening. This is the end of the movie for today. I'll see you in the next movie. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like the video